gentlemen, back to Rebels TV, our second edition for 2018, and I'm not sure if it's due to popular request, because we had over a thousand views last week on Rebels TV with Krista Woodruff as host, but when you're the boss of the place, you can do whatever you want. Joining me once again in the co-host chair, as he will every week going forward for 2018, it's a big welcome back to Rebels TV, to GWV Rebels Talent Manager Phil Partington. Welcome back, mate. G'day Sean, great to be back. First episode for me for the year, so looking forward to how we go, Sean. Yeah, the ratings were very good last week, and we did have some comments that last week's host was much, much easier to watch than you were, but when you're the boss, you do what you want, so back in you come, and we'll see if we can't keep the ratings going high. Looking forward to it, Sean. We are indeed, and we're going to jump straight into things because the 2016 Rebel Squad announced earlier this week, yesterday as a matter of fact, our 48 man TAC squad for 2018, Pardo. 33 brand new players onto the Rebels list this year. 26 top eights, 22 bottom eights, pretty good mix. It's a great mix, Sean. Uh, hard work getting through 140 boys mm. across the whole region, Sean, and so many talented players in West Victoria at the moment, so it was a really hard choice. But every player's gone through at least two trial games to show their wares, and also five months of training, Sean. So we're pretty happy where we're at at the moment with our 48-man squad. and. The beauty of it, Sean, we've got seven boys that missed out squad selection last year mm. as 17s. They've stepped up to be 18-year-olds in our program, so they're a very competitive group, and uh, yeah, the, the, the talent's going to be there, Ian, Sean. I think yep. we'll be competitive throughout the year, but uh, we start off with our camp this weekend, Sean, so over Victoria testing on Saturday into our camp, and uh, a few fun activities for the boys this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a very big weekend. Uh, as usual, out of Pax Hill Scout, Scout Camp, 6 p.m., this Friday night we kick things off and then early testing this year I believe up at Melbourne and then interestingly we've got a group activity in Melbourne on Saturday afternoon is any any hints as to what's going to happen there or do we leave the boys in suspense until then? I will certainly leave the boys in suspense Sean but I think not many or if any uh, players or even staff would have done this activity uh, tell you why I haven't. at all so uh, next week we'll have a bit of a video preview of that one Sean and how we've gone about it and uh, it's an activity that requires a lot of teamwork mm -hmm. um, to get to A to B anyway. And then on Sunday, of course, our traditional team photo day and match play day here at Mars Stadium to finish off the camp as well. So really looking forward to that. And I suppose one of the highlights of our lists this year, obviously having the boys and girls list part of, is that our first ever Rebels brother-sister combinations on the list. We've got obviously Josh and Ella Bibby, Ella winning last year's Rebels BNF, but we've also got a pair of twins on the list and brother-sister twins, Harry and Lauren Butler. I don't know if any other two clubs got that uh, two siblings, Sean, so uh, we're pretty proud of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, great family, great people across Western Victoria, and uh, looking forward to having those two uh, families involved with our program. And we'll feature more on the Butlers and the Bibbies on the Rebels website in the coming weeks as well, so keep an eye out for that. Speaking of TAC Cup girls, Pardo played their first game of the season last weekend up against the Eastern Rangers. Slow start to the girls, but they were okay after that. The feedback I received, Sean, was fantastic. They uh, were very competitive for the whole game. And the Eastern Rangers probably didn't really rated number one team in the mm. competition. So lose by three goals, we're competitive. And we'll only get better, Sean, we two of the girls. So uh, looking forward to a really competitive season and how they're going under, uh, under Chris Woodruff. Let's have a, look, a full look at the TAC Cup girls from last week. We'll bring her back in. Chris Woodruff's going to join us to talk everything TAC Cup girls right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, to our TAC Cup Girls segment here on Rebels TV and joining me, she's finally got here, we got her in a little bit later than we had last week, but trust me, the ratings will spike once again as a result of it. Krista Woodruff, our TAC Cup female talent coordinator is with us. Welcome back to Rebels TV, Krista. Thanks, Sean. Always a pleasure. And thank you so much for the rating spike last week. As we mentioned before, having your face rather than Pardo's as the first one people saw, they were very, very happy with that. I'm a bit better looking, so... You, know. you said that, not me. <laughs> Let's talk about round one in the TAC Cup Girls competition played on the weekend. And as we can see on the screen at the moment, on the scoreboard, not the best day for our girls. But sometimes scoreboards don't always tell the full tale. And our girls are very, very competitive, especially after quarter time. Yeah, most definitely the scoreboard doesn't reflect how well the girls went. Um, we started off a bit slow uh, in terms of our one-on-one -on -one defensive structure. So um, Eastern Rangers were able to kick away a little bit in that first quarter. But mm -hmm. then, you know, um, Lauren Butler, our captain, got the girls all up and about um, sort of um, in the second quarter. And we started to come back and apply a bit of pressure and get that running power going. And um, 
as a result, got a few goals and got back in there. Yeah, got to within seven points, I think it was at some stage in the second or was it the third quarter when I think Deborah Henson kicked the goal as well to get it within seven points. But then after that, I think obviously the Rangers are going to be one of the top teams in the TAC Cup girls competition this year and just pulled away that little bit towards the end. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Rangers look like a pretty fit outfit and um, they've got some very strong girls across the board. Um, we're probably very well matched. Um, I just think with the girls, we haven't had a lot of um, game time in mm. them and, and they've never really played together. So um, it's really good signs for us and um, the girls that needed to step up did and I think definitely that shows with the scoreline only being that 19 points. Yeah, tell us some of the better performers on the day. We see, we saw, of course, before when we had a look at the scorecard that the captain, Lauren Butler, was named as the best player on the day. Run us through her game and some of the other standouts. Yeah, look, Lauren always presents a really good game. Um, very strong through the midfield for us, a nice outside player. And um, her ability to just sum up um, sum up the positions of everyone else and, and direct the ball um, nicely into the forward line is really important for us. So um, she had a really good game. Ella Bibby was really strong through the middle as well. Mm -hmm. um, good hands and um, her ability to sort of win one-on-one -on -one, um, was really important for us. So those two were probably um, two of our stronger players and then we had a few um, of our uh, newer girls that really stood up and, and had a good game as well. No game preview this week, a week off this week. It's kind of a bit of a tease, isn't it? You get in there, have all the lead up to round one and then a week off straight away. But of course, AFL Victoria testing day this week and our whole boys squad, which was announced early this week, going down and some of the girls going down as well to test under the eyes of AFL recruiters. Yeah, we've got four of our girls going down um, this weekend. We've got a couple of injuries at the moment. Mm -hmm. So um, only the four will go down. We've got um, Ala Bibby, of course, Lauren Butler, Georgia Clark and um, Tara Jasper testing on the weekend. So looking forward to seeing how those girls go and um, up against everyone else, all the other Tac Cup regions as well. And then we'll look at it more next week, but our next game, Sunday the 18th of March, coming up against the Geelong Falcons. And it's a home game, not here at Mars Stadium, but at the Marty Bush Reserve in Sebastopol. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Marty Bush is a really nice venue mm. and I'm sure that the girls will enjoy it. Um, good venue to run around, which is um, our you know, strongest point of our game is, is. is our fitness and our speed. So looking forward to seeing how the Falcons um, are going. They you know, had a good uh, win on the weekend mm -hmm. um, against, I think it was Sandra and Hare. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so, um, and they're, they're really good draftable players are, are looking... Um, looking really strong, so I'm really excited to see how our girls go. Yeah, it should be very interesting coming up in a or in ten days from today up at the Marty Bush Reserve, and then of course the following week the big triple head up here at Mars Stadium, where our girls will taste the atmosphere of Mars Stadium for the very first time. We're going to get more girls content in the coming weeks, Krista, because I don't know if the girls know it yet. They're probably going to by the time they watch this, but. We're going to pick some girls to go inside 60 in a couple of weeks. It'll be on Rebels TV throughout the year. And, of course, our Mars Player of the Day videos will fire up very, very shortly as well. So there's going to be a lot more TAC Cup girls content on Rebels TV in the coming weeks. Krista, thanks for joining us this week. Enjoy the, I suppose, the bit of a rest this weekend, <laughs> not having games. And looking forward to seeing you again next week on Rebels TV. Thank you. Always looking forward to it. Krista Woodruff, our GWV Rebels female talent coordinator. It's time to bring Pardo back in and have a look at what's in store this weekend for the GWV Rebels. Krista Woodruff, our TAC Cup girls talent coordinator. Girls, as we said before, Pardo did a really good job on the weekend. Looking forward to seeing them, not this weekend as we mentioned, but next weekend in a home game of sorts, playing at the Marty Bush Reserve in Sebastopol. Yeah, against the Geelong Falcons, so a really tough game for the, the, the girls, but I know they're preparing well, Sean, and they're looking forward to see how they go. They are indeed. Big things happening in the world of the Rebels. We can confirm, Pardo, that in a couple of weeks, Inside 60, one of our most popular segments on Rebels TV last year, We'll be returning cool. for season 2018. Good, Sean. I'm happy to see that one. Might change a couple of the questions up as well. Just get into the boys a bit. Even though, as we said before, there's not that many boys that were on Inside 60 last year that are still on the list. We'll still change things up a little bit and get some some different information. Maybe we might find out who their favourite staff member is on the Rebels. And maybe the girls in too, Sean. Yes, get as the well. girls get their, get their answers as well. We will indeed. Looking forward to bringing more of that on Rebels TV in the coming weeks, Pardo. 
Camp this weekend, next weekend against Geelong Falcons. First, last practice game of the year, full dress rehearsal for round one, really, here at Mars Stadium on Sunday, March the 18th. Surely looking forward to round one, Sean, and good luck to the girls in their next week game too. So uh, I'm looking forward to next week's edition, Sean. We've got yes. that special activity. Very, show. very special camp edition next week. I'll tell you what, set your, set your reminder for Wednesday 6pm next week because you're going to want to see this one. Thanks for joining us on Rebels TV for another week. We'll see you again next week. See you.